Father Steve Summers, and thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel today for my brief daily message of, of joy and hope uh, and inspiration. I hope you have all of those things going for you in your life today. It's, it's getting hard to do that now with, with about half of the U.S. population on uh, stay-at-home orders uh, by the different government uh, entities uh, in our lives. Um, and we should, you know, we should obey what our, our leaders are telling us to do and what the health experts tell us to do. And we're trying uh, uh, to be, all of us, to be obedient to, uh, to that. But, uh, but in the midst of that, we're forgetting some important things. I just played a few uh, verses from The Lion Sleeps Tonight. And I did that because I have a friend with me today. This is Leo the Lion. Uh, Leo... Uh, is very, very old uh, and very, uh, very much a teacher. Uh, Leo teaches uh, uh, me a lot of things. And today he's reminded me of something very important that I think is going to help me today. And I hope it helps you too today. In the midst of all this uncertainty, we need to remember that there's an inner child in us that needs nourishment. Uh, in isolation, uh, many of us forget to take care of ourselves. Well, psychologists say that one of the main ways we can take care of ourselves uh, when we're especially under very difficult circumstances is to remember that there's a child in us that needs attention. Uh, and children, you know, uh, and if you've watched children uh, at any length like I have most of my life, uh, they have something that most of us older folks have forgotten. They have the ability to play. Remember what it was like to play? Remember what it was like when you were uh, asked to go out into the yard or the backyard or you wanted to go into the backyard and you had no agenda, you had no uh, real purpose for being there other than just to play. And you created all sorts of worlds in your mind and uh, you let your imagination just run, run wild for a while. And when we were little, we talked to trees, we talked to birds, uh, we talked to the grass and the insects. Uh, they became our friends. Uh, we became uh, closer to all of nature when we were able to play. Somewhere along the line, we're taught as older people that it's we got to grow out of that. No, we shouldn't. It's an essential part of who we are today. It's a, it's a key to unlocking the joy within us, to remember that there's a child in us, and the child uh, needs us to, uh, to attend to it. Uh, that's where our joy comes from. We remember that no matter how old we are, uh, we're still young in the eyes of God. We're still his little children. And remember that Jesus told his disciples that if you really want to be a follower of mine, if you really want to, not a pretend follower or a follower only on weekends or after certain hours of the day, if you really want to be my disciple, Jesus said, you must turn and become like children. My children, because they're the greatest in the kingdom of heaven to him. So how do we do that in the midst of all this self-isolation and forced isolation? How do we do that? Remember to play. Uh, there are three main elements in play that I've discovered in my advanced degrees and studies uh, that I'm trying to apply to myself now, too. Uh, first is anticipation. We have all the wrong sorts of anticipation today. We're anticipating the worst. We're expecting and projecting into our lives what we think is going to be the worst. Anticipate greatness. Anticipate joy. Children do when they go out to play. So the first element is anticipation. Anticipate exciting things to happen and great things to happen and joy to happen. The second thing is imagination. Use this gift up here that God has given us to create new narratives to go through our minds. Not the fear that we're being force-fed 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we just listened to a press conference today of the city of Houston uh, uh, enforcing this uh, stay-at-home order and announcing that. Uh, and that's causing even more apprehension, judging from what I'm getting on social media. And use our imaginations to imagine us being past this. What are we going to be like when we're through this? We're going to be better. We're going to be greater. We're going to be more spiritual. Use imagination. Anticipate greatness and use your imagination. And the third element is exhilaration. 
Do you remember what it was like to be exhilarated about something? To be not only happy and joyful and gleeful, but thrilled? Exhilaration is the third element. That's what we're working toward. That's what uh, a spiritual completeness and a wholeness, you know, the descriptions in heaven uh, uh, in scripture uh, talk about singing and feasting, things that are exhilarating to us. So let us play today. Let us use our imaginations. Let us anticipate great things. Let us learn how to be exhilarated again as children. We may be isolated, but we're not alone. Oh, the Lord is with you. And I've got to thank Leo for reminding me because he has such a great imagination. If you've got little things that you can play with, maybe you have children or grandchildren uh, who have things, go play with them today. Let them show you how to recreate that child in us uh, and let us imagine uh, great things and anticipate great things and let us be exhilarated again. It's in you. My joy is once again today being sent to you. I have a joyful heart today. I'm giving it to you. So share it with someone else today. God bless you and have a wonderful day.